Hello everyone, today is the 24th of November 2025. NVIDIA's 6 million GPU shipped. Back of the envelope miracle or the AI bubble's biggest red flag is today's Just Dario Daily. Before we begin, if you like my content, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notifications not to miss any of my future updates. NVIDIA's Jensen Huang just claimed 6 million GPUs shipped this year alone, fueling a $500 billion order backlog for Blackwell and Rubin chips throughout 2026. Sounds like the AI gold rush is hitting escape velocity, right? Wall Street high fives, stock pops 5% in after hour trading, and suddenly everyone's toasting to infinite scaling lows till they start digging into the numbers, as I did in NVIDIA earnings, more questions than answers on the state of the AI bubble. And something does not add up. As someone who spent way too many late nights pouring over earnings transcript and supply chain tea leaves, I can't shake this nagging itch. Is this 6 million GPUs ship number for real? Or is it the kind of pro forma magic that makes Aaron blush? In this deep dive, I will do my best to reverse engineer those 6 million units against the cold hard reality of TCMC's wafer counts, Taiwan's export tallies, and Nvidia's own revenue math. Spoiler alert, the pieces fit mostly, but the seams, they are starting to fray in ways that scream bubble alert. Buckle up, we are talking implied ASPs that made a luxury yacht salesman jealous, grow rates that lap the field like it's standing still, and a value chain where Taiwan's getting crumbs while Nvidia feasts. By the end, you'll be asking the same question I am. How much longer can this house of cards defy gravity? We have shipped 6 million GPUs over the last four quarters. Jensen Huang claimed to make Wall Street analysts rejoice. That's Q4 full year 2025 through Q3 full year 2026. November 2024 to October 2025 for those unfamiliar with Nvidia's accounting calendar. Primarily Blackwell beasts with some hopper holdovers to pad the stats. And yeah, it's tied to that monster $500 billion backlog which sounds epic until you remember. Backlogs are promises, and by now investors should have learned promises don't bode very well when they aren't backed up by guarantees, like in the Oracle case. But let's play along. Nvidia's data center segment, the AI cash cow that's 88% of their total revenue, racked up $167 billion over those four quarters. Strip out the networking fluff and grace CPU Sideshow, and you're left with roughly $137 billion in compute sales. Now, divide that by 6 million units, and boom, an effective ASP of just $22,833 per GPU. Wait, what? That's below street estimates for bare H100s between $25,000 and $35,000, and laughably low for bundled Blackwell system. Think forty to fifty thousand dollar effective when they're selling eight GPU HGX racks at four hundred thousand dollar a pop. At a more realistic blended forty two thousand dollar ASP, seventy percent bundled per the analyst heard, those revenues imply only roughly three point twenty six million units shipped. So. Where is the other 2.74 million hiding? Deferred revenue from software licenses, OEM inventory dumps not yet booked, or creative counting of shipped as promised? Here on screen, you can see the quarterly breakdown because numbers don't lie. Jensen Wang's 6 million GPUs shipped claim feels like it's counting every die that left TCMC's fab door not every finished revenue-generating box that hit a customer's dock. Coincidence? 
or convenient? Here is TCMC's side of the story. Waffle Wars and the missing millions. TCMC's fabs, roughly 90% of Nvidia's advanced GPUs, those 4 to 5 nanomillimeter wonders that power the Blackwell hype train. Their high performance computing HPC segment, that's code for Nvidia's playground, with the chip giant sucking up 70 to 80% of it. Over the same quarters, TCMC's HPC hold roughly $64.5 billion, implying $45 to $52 billion straight to Nvidia's coffers if you buy the attribution. At $8 to $12,000 per GPU in TCMC costs, buffer pricing plus yields, think $20,000 per advanced buffer yielding 100 to 150 dice at 80%. Good stuff. 6 million units should have burned through 48 to 72 billion dollar in foundry fees. It fits, but just barely. Within that 64 billion dollar bucket, leaving scraps for AMD's MI300 or Broadcom's products. Quarter on quarter growth, Nvidia's shipments are up roughly 14% on average. TCMC's HPC's clocks in at a plus 10 to 12 percent. But here is the rub. TCMC's whispering about 90 percent plus utilizations and US fab ramps that won't goose output till 2026. If Nvidia is really cranking 1.5 million GPUs per quarter, their 6 million average, that's roughly 225,000 buffers quarterly just for Nvidia. TCMC's total advanced node output, peaking at 1.5 to 2 million wafers a year across all customers. Do the math. Nvidia alone will eat 40 to 50% of it, as it kind of makes sense. Nvidia claims they are sold out, or is the numbers are getting stretched? Here on screen, you can observe the quarterly HPC teardown for the skeptics. See the total? 4.84 million implied GPUs. Cozy with revenue math, but still short of the 6 million if you factor in yields and testing overhead. Question for Jensen. If demand's apparently infinite, why isn't TCMC's top line exploding harder? Furthermore, if such an astounding demand for GPU is real, why is TCMC not growing CapEx exponentially to fulfill it like everyone else is doing? frustrating the whole AI bandwagon in the process. Let's zoom out to the TCMC mothership, Taiwan's IC exports. Over four quarters, roughly $207 billion flowed out, up 28% year on year. Respectable, sure, but yawn inducing next to Nvidia's 84% revenue sprint. AI is the culprit, driving 30% plus surges in Q3 alone. At 10 to 15K dollar export value per GPU die, that's capacity for 13 to 20 million units shipped globally. Plenty of room for Nvidia 6 million on paper. But peel the onion, export capture 20 to 25% of Nvidia's end game ASP, the raw silicon slice. The rest, assembly in Malaysia, software voodoo in Santa Clara, and 75% gross margin that turn $10,000 wafers into $40,000 plus system. Taiwan's GDP gets a 5% AI jolt. Nvidia's market cap balloons to $5 trillion. Fair? Maybe. Sustainable? Exports grew 28%. Nvidia's revenues grew 84%. That's not alignment. That's a value chain heist. Backlog meets reality fits like a glow until it doesn't. Bundling, bare chip dumps and software deferrals paper over the ASP gaps. Supply constraint might explain the sold out soap stories, but let's not kid ourselves. This is AI bubble fuel, pure and simple. Growth lapping suppliers by two to three times? Backlogs bigger than some countries' gross domestic product? It's a dot-com playbook 2.0 except with more electrons and fewer pets.com. So what's next? Blackwell ramps in 2026 could validate the fairy tale or delays. 
production hiccups could pop the myth. Rubim, vaporware until proven. And that $500 billion backlog? Show me the cash, not the IOUs. To be fair, investors are sleeping with one eye open. Thanks a lot for listening again to my podcast today, for supporting me on X, on Instagram, and for reading my research on justdario.com. I wish everyone a nice day.